Welcome to Talk Law Radio with attorney Todd Marquardt of the Marquardt Law Firm at MarquardtLawFirm.com. Welcome to Talk Law Radio. I'm Todd Marquardt here on 9.30 a.m. The Answer, also on podcasts everywhere and on TalkLawRadio.com. You can also listen on 9.30 a.m. The Answer.com. You can also find me on Facebook and YouTube. Each episode, I like to talk about some aspect of federal or Texas law or regulation that needs some explaining. Do you have a question about the law? Email me at host at talklawradio.com. That's H-O-S-T at talklawradio.com. Because I'm licensed to practice law in Texas, the state bar is the agency that governs my attorney law license. The state bar wants attorneys to inform the public about the law, but because legal advice must be tailored to the specific circumstances of each case, and because laws are ever-changing, material discussed in this program is meant for general informational purposes only and is not to be construed as tax, legal, or investment advice. Although the information has been gathered from sources believed to be reliable, please note that individual situations can vary. Therefore, the information you learn today should be relied upon only when coordinated with individual professional advice. Marquardt Law Firm sponsors our show today, and attorneys at Marquardt Law Firm focus on business and estate law, including last wills, living trusts, and tax-protected inheritance plans. New businesses and old businesses, which might have issues with corporations, contracts, LLCs, family limited partnerships, and we can represent those who are facing problems from lack of planning, like in probate court, county court, or district court. Before we get started talking about the law, let's begin with prayer. Dear God, thank you for this day and for all the gifts and blessings that you give to us. Please forgive us for our sins, for our mistakes, for doing the wrong thing and failing to do your will. Please help Ed Marvin and me give good information about franchise law today. Help us to use the gifts and talents you have provided for the good of your people, for our own good, and for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now it's time to discover your legal issue blind spots by listening to me talk about the law on the radio. Today we're going to be talking about franchise law with Ed Marvin. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your background. Where did you grow up? I grew up here in San Antonio. Okay. And uh, where did you go to school? Um... Went to several schools, uh, started out at, uh, uh, well, basically I went to high school at Churchill High School and, uh, uh, you know, fed into that, went to private school um, at uh, St. George. Oh, okay. And where did you go to get your undergraduate degree? I am a proud Aggie, uh, Texas A&M University, whoop. Uh, (laughs) College Station. College Station, that's correct. Awesome. And what did you get your degree in? So my undergraduate degree is in a, a field called biomedical engineering. Um, it's basically engineering concepts related to the human body. Uh, think about all the medical devices that are uh, that, that are implanted in people, uh, the diagnostic equipment that is used uh, to diagnose problems, um, and and then there's some other some other aspects of it. But that's essentially what biomedical engineering is. Okay, and after you graduated, uh, you worked in that field for a while. Right. Well, uh, well, actually, I I worked in uh, I, I I did some work in in my undergrad in that field, and then when I graduated, I did some work as an environmental engineer. Um, when I when I got to my my upper level courses at uh, at A and M, I had decided I wanted to go into a field uh, called patent law um, that was or, or intellectual property, which was kind of a, a burgeoning field at the time. It's it's since gotten a you know there's a lot more people that are involved in it. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I got, I got to the, uh, to my upper level courses and it's, it's another story as to why I decided to do this, but, but, uh, I wanted to be an attorney and use my engineering background, uh, as part of, as part of my practice. And, uh, an intellectual property attorney needs some type of, uh, medical or engineering background, right? 
Well, to be a to be what is uh, termed a patent attorney, you do have to have a, a background in hard sciences. Uh, that's in order to take the what we call the patent bar. It's a it's a separate bar exam than you and I took for the the, the Texas State Bar, uh, and so that this is so you can draft and file the patent applications and, and what we call prosecute them at the at the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Um, you can litigate patent cases without that patent being considered a patent attorney, mm -hmm. and you can do other aspects of intellectual property without the hard sciences background, such as trademark law, uh, copyrights, trade secrets, et cetera. Uh, but, uh, but yes, I mean, I, I wanted to be a, a patent attorney, and, and part of what I do in my practice, in addition to the franchise uh, work that we'll talk about today, is I, I draft patent applications for people who, who have invented something and, and want to seek patent protection. Awesome. Okay. I was going to ask you about your, your transition into the law. So that's uh, good information. Uh, you went to St. Mary's. We were in the same class. Uh, that's how we know each other. So um, after graduating, you went to work for what law firm? Um, I went to go work for the law firm that I'm, I'm basically at now. I had a short little stint where I was doing uh, criminal work. And, and then I started at the, at the current law firm that I'm at. It's called Gunley & Cave PC. Uh, we're an intellectual property boutique. All we really handle is, is, is intellectual property issues and, and related litigation, um, as, as well as drafting the, the, the patent applications um, and, and you know, draft, uh, seeking trademark protection for people and, and copyright protection and, and uh, other, other intellectual property due diligence, licensing, stuff like that. I mean, this, this is what, what our focus is. And somewhere along the way, you got interested in franchising. That's correct. That's correct. Um, How did that happen? Well, franchise is uh, part of a, a franchise is you have to have a trademark license. And so we have clients who have registered trademarks. They also have unregistered marks, which we would call, they have common law rights. And we would get people who want to, who essentially want to scale their business. And that's where the, the franchise component comes in. Um, there is a difference b between a trademark license and a franchise. A franchise involves a trademark license, uh, but, there's, but there's, a, there's a slight difference between the two. So we would have people coming to us saying that they wanted to, basically they, they developed a concept, uh, they've got it. They've got it. One or two or three or however many trademarks that they're they're that are associated with their concept, and they wanted to scale it. Well, that's where the franchise piece comes in. Mm -hmm. um, and so I decided that that uh, you know this because we had seen it over and over again um, that this would be a good area to to expand my practice from just uh, from the the regular kind of core intellectual property to to this mm -hmm. aspect of it. I've noticed a lot of franchises around San Antonio recently, new ones, not just McDonald's, Taco Bell, and Burger King, but I, I've noticed a, a lot more. Uh, have you noticed uh, more activity? Yes, and I, I think that that's probably because San Antonio is, uh, continues to grow as a city. Uh, and so, you know, when you have a, when you have a, a franchise uh, that, that – basically is built, I mean, it could be headquartered anywhere. It could be headquartered in, in any of the 50 states. It could, could, be, a, could be a foreign franchise. Um, but basically, you know, you look at a market and you determine whether or not you think that, that, that your, your franchise is going to be successful in that market. And, and I think that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, you know, interestingly, there are, you know, several franchises that, that started in San Antonio uh, that, that, that have expanded, uh, which is kind of an interesting story. But um, so, I don't, uh, for example, the, the Church's Fried Chicken franchise started here in San oh, Antonio. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Absolutely. Okay, well, we have to take a break. When we come back, we'll continue talking about franchise law with attorney Ed Marvin. So, stay tuned. This has been Talk Law Radio with attorney Todd Marquardt, brought to you by the Marquardt Law Firm. You can learn more at MarquardtLawFirm.com. And be sure to listen to the full Talk Law Radio show Saturday mornings at 11 on 930 AM, The Answer. 
Each week, attorney Todd Marquardt talks about the law. His mission with the Talk Law Radio Show and Podcast is to help you discover your legal issue blind spots. In the beginning, God had one law. Don't eat from the fruit of that tree. Then came the Ten Commandments. Now we have federal, state, and municipal lawmakers that won't stop creating new laws. Laws that might impact you without you knowing it. Listen to the show and drop a line on Facebook or email host at talklawradio.com and let the hosts know what you think of the show, the topics you want to hear, and whether you want to be a guest.